Anyone who wants to study the Bible needs to study the Old Testament. It's three quarters of God's revelation to mankind. A lot of people think that reading their English Bible alone is sufficient, and that's as far as they want to go. However, as good as our English translations are, there are some things that you just can't communicate easily in a translation. How many times have you been in church or in a Bible study group and people have been using different versions? And sometimes you can see how the different versions mean about the same thing, it's just worded differently. But sometimes the versions are different enough that it gets your attention and you want to understand why those versions are different. Sometimes the meaning of a given passage is indeed different between the versions. One of the advantages of Hebrew for the rest of us is that a person can learn about Hebrew and learn to use tools for the English only user and make sense out of them and use them responsibly. When you study Hebrew for the rest of us, if you complete the course in Hebrew for the rest of us, you're going to learn a lot of things about Hebrew and about how to study the Bible. When we study the scriptures, we begin to take ownership of what we read there. We're not just having somebody tell us what it means, but we're growing in our independence, and therefore, we're growing in the depth of our knowledge of the scriptures and of the God who is responsible for them. So if you're thinking about taking Hebrew for the rest of us, I would recommend that you do it sooner rather than later. The reason is, the sooner you get through this material, the sooner you begin to learn these things, the more you're gonna be able to use these things when you study the scriptures.